what is up guys and uh check it out in today's episode what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about those uh 13 fishing baits that they sent me the other day we are going to be testing those out today uh but we've got a storm big big storm rolling in like i showed you guys or, or to explain to you guys yesterday and in, in yesterday's episode so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put this camera down put the gopro and i'm gonna go get to fishing right now so i'll see you guys on the water all right guys we've made it to our first location so we're gonna start with these uh jerk they're called the jerks all right i love this color too it's irish car bomb it's just like a white with uh with some really bright sparkles in it and i really love that color so we're gonna start with this. We're gonna throw this around for a little bit, see if we can get bit. But more importantly, what we're gonna do is find out the action of this bait. If it's slow sink, fast sink, I've got a uh, 1 8 ounce tungsten weight on it. I'm gonna get over here where I can kind of see in the water a little bit better. And let's just find out how she swims. Hooked up, baby. Hooked up, hooked up. Let's go. On the 13 fishing, baby, let's go. Let's freaking go. Yes, dude, freaking yeah, baby. <laughs> so like I said, 13 sent me these baits to try out before I cast because they're not gonna release them until I cast. And uh, they're gonna fine tune a couple of the details. Uh, I'm kind of just out here today getting the, the actions on the bait. Uh, how they feel and, and how they look in the water, how they work, how they catch fish. But let's go. First fish of the day on the jerk and Irish car bomb color. It's freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome. All right, there you have it. The jerk, Irish car bomb color, large mouth. Have fun, buddy. Oh, he's quick. Back to the drain pipe. I caught him out there like in the grass. I thought I seen a fish. There's a whole bunch of blue tilapia and spotted tilapia right here. There he goes. Yeah, right back out in the middle where he caught him. But uh, there's a whole bunch of tilapia in here, and, and a lot of times tilapia will mess the bass population up. So if you don't know, tilapia are basically, they're just big bullies. That's all they are. And <clears throat> they'll eat the bass eggs, and the tilapia, they, they basically spawn like every two weeks or something crazy like that. But uh, anyways, they'll bully the bass and whatnot. So, so catching bass in a uh, tilapia-heavy spot is actually always a... Uh, quite the accomplishment in my eyes let's get this bad boy rigged back up so what i'm looking for when i'm throwing baits like this uh soft plastics in general like the texture of them how they feel how soft they are these are actually really soft but you know i can't speak too too much on this one specific area but uh this bait really is not tore up i mean at all after catching that one fish so that's always a plus that's something you always want to look for when uh when you're fishing you want to make sure soft plastics because you don't want you know a super messed up bait let me get across this road you don't want a messed up bait so after one fish i'm gonna hunt for something a little bit bigger so this is what i'm gonna do actually guys i just kind of walked a little a little ways i'm gonna switch baits all right i just caught one on this one the jerk i'm gonna switch baits up i'm gonna see if I can get them to eat one of each of these baits, we're gonna give it a try. So next we're gonna use the, uh, the big curly tail worm, the big squirm, and uh, I'm just gonna pitch this out there a couple times and kind of see the action on it real quick. Deadly, guys. This curly tail worm, you know, one thing I love about curly tail worms too is you don't necessarily have to, to fish them like a Senko. You know, you can swim them back, and this one is actually designed to almost look like a fluke the way it's like kind of rounded off. I'll show you guys here in a little bit when I get back to the house, but it is uh, really good looking in the water, guys. Let's see if I can get a little closer than you guys can see. Here, we'll do this. Put some line out, there we go. See if you guys can see that. Oh, man. Okay, now we're just gonna kinda pitch it around. It's a burner out here today, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it is 92 degrees right now with a high of 93. Humidity is at like 97%. The only reason I'm out right now is because a big, big storm is coming through the rest of the weekend. It's Saturday morning right now, or afternoon-ish, I should say. It's like almost 12. But uh, that's, that's why I'm out today fishing right now, because I'm probably not going to be able to fish uh, Sunday 
all day because this big storm system's coming through. Uh, when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys something really quick, uh, something that I feel like is a really cool attribute to baits like this. Uh, I haven't seen it before. Now, I could be dead wrong. There could be millions of baits like this. I just, I personally haven't seen it. But uh, when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys, and I've noticed this on two out of the five baits that they sent me. We're just, we're just gonna keep on fishing for now. We're trying to beat the storm back home. I'm basically walking around a big lake right now uh, and I'm gonna walk home from here because it's not that far. It's probably like a mile and a half, two miles maybe if that. But uh, let's see if we can go catch a bigger one. There we go, baby. On the drop. On the drop, we're water skiing because he's small. There we go. On the drop, baby. Oh, there we go. Big squirm does it with a, uh, a little squirm. All right. Thanks for playing, buddy. We need something uh, a lot bigger than you, though. Okay, now we're going to switch it up. That's two on two baits. We're going to see if we can do, um, see if we can get one on. A different, but I thought I felt him bite, but uh, I wasn't 100% sure. Let me go ahead and change this baits up real quick. So I think the next one I want to try is the joystick in that same black and tan color. It's just a really thick bodied Senko, but it's got these like paddle tail, split tail feet on it. Really, really cool looking bait. So I'm going to try this out. This bait also has the, uh, the little thing I was telling you guys about a minute ago. So when I get home, I'm going to touch base and, and talk about that a little bit more. I'm gonna keep walking around this. Oh, there goes an iguana. That was quick. Them things are so fast, man. But uh, I'm gonna keep walking around this a little bit faster because that storm is coming a little bit quicker. Sometimes my weather app is like plus or minus 10 minutes. And uh, by the time I get around this lake and get around the next lake, I don't wanna, now I guess I don't care to be soaking wet, but I'd rather my GoPro not get soaking wet. Got one, got a good 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 one. Oh man. Oh, there we go. There we go. Holy smokes. Oh my god. That's a grown one, boys. That is a grown one. That is a grown one, let me tell you right now. Alright guys, that one just came on the uh the 13 fishing again. Again, this is a good one though. We're gonna get him back real quick. All right, baby, let's get you back. Let's get you back. I bet you are absolutely. Oh, this water stinks so bad. I bet you are ready to go, huh? Yeah. Look at that big girl. Oh man, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. She freaking hit that on the fall i'm talking she was sitting like right here i pitched it in front of her man as soon as that thing touched the water she darted straight for it oh my goodness let's freaking go right before we have to go too because the storm is coming let's go well guys after that uh after that really awesome catch we're gonna have to call this video quits because i just saw some lightning off in the distance and like I said, I am not opposed to fishing in the rain. I actually don't mind it sometimes. It's, it's quite refreshing, but I don't want to get caught out here. Like it doesn't look bad over there, but all that right there is where that storm's coming in from. So I caught a fish on three out of the five baits, and uh, we'll talk about that more when I get home, but I got about a mile and a half, two mile walk, and then we will be to the house, so I will see you guys there. This is exactly what I was talking about, guys. I don't know if you can see the flickers on the screen, but uh, I'm gonna put a picture up at how bad this storm got and how quick it got bad uh, with all of the lightning and everything. But guys, it is absolutely insane at the amount of lightning that we've got right now. I'm so lucky that I got home in time. Like lightning is something I just, I don't play with it, guys. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it was a scorcher out there today. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys something really quick, something I noticed while I was using these out on the water earlier today. Uh, something that I, I think, I don't think has been done before. Not that I've seen, maybe, you know, I could be wrong. But right here, these little, these little edges, these little indentions right here. So that's really convenient because when I Texas rig something, 
I don't, all right, so there's, okay, let me just kind of start over. When I Texas rig something, this is when you Texas rig something like this. All right, so the hook is in about the middle of the soft plastic, okay? So the fish really have to really commit to that, okay? So what I do is I skin hook it, as we like to say, uh, a Texas rig. So what I can do right here is just slide those right up under one of those little indentions. And uh, this one's beat up because I just caught that big fish on it. But when you slide it under those little indentions right there, guys, that's a ge that's like genius. And it's super simple. Uh, so good job on these baits so far, 13 fish. And I'm obviously going to keep uh, taking these out and throwing them around and seeing uh, what the biggest fish is I can catch. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. You here on YouTube, the Yak Squad, the Yak Gang, we got to use and see first some unreleased 13 fish in soft plastics, okay? These are not coming out until I cast, like I said in, in yesterday's video and earlier in uh, today's video. But anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to continuously go out and, uh, and use these again. Also, uh, be on the lookout. There's another really, really good uh, swim bait showdown episode coming later on this week, so definitely don't want to miss that. I promise, guys. Uh, but anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.